So I heard you kids think you're tough. Is that so? Well, I'll tell you what, kids. You try being tough while you're in juvie. Now, have I been in juvie? No. But I tell you what, though. I've seen a little movie called Bad Boys. And I'm not talking about bad boys with widow itty bitty Billy Smith and widow Marty Lawrence. Those guys are pigs. Those are the cops. I'm talking about being a real bad boy. So some of your mommies and daddies may have heard of this movie, but I'm sure you little kitties have it. And that's why you're sitting in class at... Insert school name. Listening to me talk about this right now. So before my old man bit the dust, he told me about this movie, and we watched it on a little thing called On Demand. So my man Sean Penn, he wasn't sitting at home playing Atari 2600 like some of you kids are today. He was out on a night of debauchery. And he had one of his buddies steal his dad's car. And he ended up getting shot. Now this is where you kids need to learn to say no, damn it! He'll keep calling me until I come over. He'll make me feel guilty. This is, uh, this is ridiculous, okay? I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, what? I'll go. Shit. So, not only did that kid get shot, but a gang leader that got involved, his little brother that he was supposed to be watching out after got shot. So now, Sean Penn and whoever's watching is stuck with the rest of this movie in juvie. Now, here's where you're introduced with a little man named Clancy Brown, where he's not the prison guard this time, but he's top dog. Now I heard he killed a kid to get himself in the slammer. <laughs> but you'll never look at Mr. Krabs the same way. This film fits so well into that prison genre movie. It reminds me of a lot of what it's like to where I can relate to what it's like in the joint. Because in the joint, you gotta be tough. You gotta be mean. You can't let all that little stuff bother you like me. I make sure none of that stuff bothers me. And what I do, I go into the... <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> Ugh, that's reflex. <coughs> Anyways. What? <coughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah. To put things into perspective... It's almost like The Outsiders, but it's more of an R-rated version. It's more gritty 70s, 80s movie version. Now, I hope you don't plan on busting out, because it's not as easy as you think. Who do you think you are? Some kind of dirty Harry? Or you listen to opera music or something? I don't think so! Now, in prison, you can't have nothing. You, got, you take everything for granted. Like, I was even allowed to have my little duckies to have to go with my bath. Now, take that pop cane, for instance. That little Johnny sipping over there. You're not allowed to have that anymore, because you know why? Because Sean Penn decided to take it and just bust up Mr. Krabs against the side of the hand with it. Oh, oh shit! Oh. 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 Can't even bring my little duckies in the shower. Little, little guy. Just a little guy. So, where things get interesting is that you have that gang leader that Sean Penn killed his little brother from. Well, that gang leader decides to take vengeance on Sean Penn's old lady, and I heard his old lady just got done serving a Saturday in high school. Which is what you'll be doing if they don't eat your vegetables! Oh, we getting a little busy here. Whew. Back on track. Word gets out that the gang leader ends up getting caught. 
and he ends up getting sent to juvie. But word gets out that it ends up being the one that Sean Penn's locked up at. So at the end of the movie, you be on the edge of your seat, just guessing how everything's going to throw down, because tension rises. Now you will be satisfied, I promise you, you will be satisfied by the choices the characters make. You'll be questioning your own humanity as long as the characters themselves. So, if I don't convince you to straighten up, to do your homework, and to respect your teachers, then maybe, just maybe, Spagoli can. So we're here looking at that wave and saying, hey bud, <laughs> let's party. <laughs> I really want to thank you kids for listening. And if I really motivated you, I want you to go down there and I want you to like and I want you to subscribe. Because if you don't, I'm going to find out where you live and I'm going to wrestle you in front of your parents. And if you're still breathing afterwards, how about you comment down below and tell me what you think needs love? Because I'm sure after I'm through with you, you're going to need all the love you can get.